guys welcome back to another video <laughs> i have to do this to get her energy up i know energy is down anyway i'm victor and she is franca <laughs> and she's franca we should have banned her as a franca all right so this is a video she promised she was gonna um, do for you for her birthday and um She's supposed to do it alone, but she said I should be yeah, sitting here. Right. I don't even know no, why she did it. She should be here, sir. Okay. Right. So talk to them now. They are your. Oh yeah. They are listening. So first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who wished me, prayed for me, and celebrated my birthday with me. God bless you all for wishing me. I pray all your heart desires come to pass. I'm not praying for you. This is really the truth. I didn't celebrate with you. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> oh yeah so i pray everything you've ever wanted in life comes to existence amen amen so yeah i what's the story you want to share yes yeah, so that's what i'm that's what i'm going in uh, like yeah so um i think years back when i was like 18 we shs and all it was my prayer that before, before, I, before I'm 25 or when I'm 25, I have to achieve some, some goals, you know. As a young lady, you need to get some things in place and all. So I had that in mind. But even though I had all of these things, I'll mention them. By 25 years, I have to do this. I have to get this. I have to be here. I have to be here. I had all of them in my head. Okay, so you didn't write them down? No. Okay. I had all of them in my head. A short pencil is better than a long memory. Yeah. And somebody said, what is written is written. Yeah. Shall definitely come to pass. <laughs> I had it there and even though I had it there, it wasn't something that I I, I believed it would happen. I was like, okay, when it happens, fine. When it doesn't happen. Guys. How can you have goals, have something you want to have, but don't believe it to happen? What do you think the problem is? What do you think? You, you, know, you know that thing? Sometimes you have goals, okay? But when you look at where you're coming from, where, what is happening around you and all of that, you, you feel like, okay, when it's 25 and it happens, fine. When it doesn't happen, we move. Like, you wouldn't force or blame yourself for some things that hasn't happened. Otherwise, you would hate yourself for something, you know that. Okay. Yes. So Then that means that you have to set realistic goals that you can achieve, work it out and achieve that also. Yes. Okay. Oh, so I had all of that in mind and um, I completed school. I had insurance and all of that. Things didn't go as planned, you know. It wasn't my wish. To have insurance at a younger age and all of that it's not ever it's not anybody's wish to mess up okay it's a decision i took there i didn't know if i had all of these advices that i know now or education i wouldn't have gone yeah and she didn't miss me, she didn't meet me early. That's yeah that's, uh, that's all good. so after all of that she came and all things are going going as planned and all of that um it was also part of why i was like if, if it happens fine but if it ha if it doesn't happen mm, i get that i move I yeah that. so she came in i had to start working because um i'm not from a rich family i'm not from a rich home my mom struggled to support us my dad the crap but you know yeah so i had to start working and all of that starting to work i have to take care of a child all of that there there that 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 working 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 i worked in i remember the works i did i worked as a teacher at my grand auntie's school in hey, Kaswa. that's nice yeah uh, you don't know <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you that. <laughs> so that's my like, oh goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe I didn't tell you that. Like, seriously, I'm married. Oh, you're still knowing each other. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's one of those things. Yeah. I worked as a teacher. I worked as um. For how many years? 
No, I, I didn't stay long. I think for like six months or so a year, okay. and then I had to leave there. Did she pay you? Yes. Okay. Like when she's not around, because it was my grand auntie, the, my, when we got married, the, the woman who advised us in the room, ah, that shot from my auntie Gina. Woman. The new Ning the Ningo woman. Yes, the God and the okay. Yeah, that's my grand auntie, auntie Gina. So when I, I go to the shout out to Auntie Gina, baby. Yeah, I know. Shout out. <laughs> yeah. I was there. She treated me so nice. I was like, yeah. And then I had to work as a um, um waiters, waitress. No, wait, that wasn't before. But I had to work as an enterprise insurance. I worked at enterprise insurance company, but I was a sales rep. Yes. Those commission based one. Yes. You were working in the sun. You can imagine, nice girl, and the way I was getting calls from people, people were just calling, nice girl, what we need, let me take it out of that. Hey, and that wasn't the plan. I celebrity of the year. <laughs> celebrity who was on the sun. And then from there, I went at Snappy Snack and at industrial area. I went there too. I didn't stay long there. And then I had to, I, I worked at Policitas, um, uh, Mrs. Obri, yeah, at Osu Shout area. Shout out to y'all, man. Yeah. And then, lastly, my madam thought I had something to do with her husband because her husband liked me, wanted to support me in school and all of that, but it wasn't that way. Like, I was a lovely person. People liked my mother, so, but I had to stop because one time I wasn't well and I, I was home and I told her that I wasn't well. I came home and she later called me during the day and told me not to return back to the right side. Yeah. So, and I had a, a, a hint of guys, this. Guys, this thing she just shared, right? I'll tell you guys a story of mine too. The first work that I had. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, I was home for some months. You can imagine me having a child and taking care of her myself and all of that. <laughs> it's not easy, but um, through the journey, I met a lot of <laughs> I met a lot of men, friends, good friends who were supporting me. Okay, who, who were supporting me? Some demanded for sex and I couldn't give, so they had to leave, even though they supported and all. But the real ones really stayed with me to some stage before they. Now I don't hear from them. Even when I call them, they don't answer. Maybe it's God's plan. They had to just come and do something and go. Yes, yeah, so and then I got a job at a business school, um, UGBS. Yeah. So at UGBS, I was working. I went there for like two and a half years. That was um, two and a half years that I quit. And then I met Shadra. The goal that I had for myself was. I would go to school. My 25th year, I would be someone who who isn't dependent on anybody, okay? Because I, I, I love to be on my own. My sister knows it, my mom knows it, my brother knows it. Everybody who, who really knows me knows that I want to be on my own. I want, if I have money, we are going somewhere, I want to pay. Like, I want to do everything on my own. I don't want people or anybody to do things for me so that you won't want me to say that. I told myself into, when I'm 25 years, I would be married. I never thought of um, being a business owner. Like I would own my like own business. own business or something like that. No, it wasn't part of my plan. I thought um, working for someone or going to school and working is the best, was the best. Even though it's good, yes, but I never had a second thought that, oh, maybe I would be working on my own or something like that, yeah. Driving, I always, I was always yearning to know God, but I wasn't getting the, uh, opportunity. I, the opportunity to to know God. Even though I go to church, I used to club and all, and there was some, some things that I was doing as in my personal life that I didn't want to do, but it wasn't time. I, I, I think it wasn't time for me to change at that time. I was saying in my 25th AM, I have to leave my mom's place. So during 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 years, I have to move out of my mom's place. I don't have to be there. I have to be on my own. I have to drive. I have to know, I have to know how to do 
a lot of things like you told me swimming driving swimming driving thank you and for then getting women. married and then getting married yeah, and then getting to know god and then get so these were like the four god. major things that you told me you yes wanted. that i wanted to do and um, and it happened and and it happened way before she got to 25 yes even before i go to 25 my 24th year um and i, I met you when else. i was 23 yeah yeah so it's it's all started when I'm, I'm, I met him, but in my 23rd year, I have started learning how to swim. In my 23rd year, getting to 24th, that was when the driving came, and then um, the marriage, and then on um, the 23rd year, before was when I got to know, before the 24th, I got to know you got God. married. I, I think I, I got to know uh, God first in my 23rd, and then my 23rd March. My birthday afterwards, I started learning how to swim. Then the driving came to 24th and 24th, I got married. Even before my 25th, 25th year. So I felt so emotional and I wanted a lot of change around me and all. My mom, the way she talks to me and all, the way they see me and all, the way my mom, my sister, my brother sees me and all. You know, if, if you've been in a family where where you you think the way your mom treats you you think your mom has a favorite but she's always saying she doesn't have a favorite okay when you are there you will think a lot you you feel like you are you are, you are useless because um every time their mom is complaining about you not to this person and you feel you feel left out you feel loved so there are some things you would want to just do to feel free to feel like you don't care about anybody so you do you just do things that is not needed okay i didn't know how to read books not that i can't read not that <laughs> not that i can't speak english or read english or no no I'm, I'm, i do all in reading very well but it wasn't part of the plan I, if you give me a book to read i beg you 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 come back and the book i haven't even opened it so now I read book. I got a good man to be with. I've, I've met a lot of men, which I've learned lessons, in which I always say I don't regret because it was also part of my life journey. I don't regret meeting them. I don't need to regret some things that I've done. If I regret, I will hate myself for it because nobody pushed me to go into it. I went into it myself. I did what I had to do to survive. Yeah, I met him. Things changed. I know God, I drive, I swim, I'm married, I read books. My understanding has become more clearer than then. A lot of things has changed around me. The way I talk has changed and I'm very grateful that even before my 25th birthday, I got all of this even though i have more to do oh I and you to... forgot this she started her own business that is Nini. yes so you should check it out on ig Nini. it's, it's so a food business imagine, so and she does makeup too as well and yes. she's doing youtube with us so, i never thought of doing <laughs> youtube i've never thought of doing youtube like Literally, she's like, doing a lot of things yes i would be very independent but for now because we started marriage and all of that i'm not working we've put in the business on hold we are not i'm not working and he is supporting me full time but hopefully we'll be resuming soon and i know i would make a lot of money where i would sponsor him i would you know i would give him money that's my wish that's what i've always wished for. especially take me to usa i said i'll buy him a car i don't told you said you buy me a car hey i told him i'll buy him a car and i will surely buy him a car with the help of God. You know, guys, you want to buy me? You want to buy me Range Rover? <laughs> I'll buy him a car. I'll surely buy him a car. Yeah, because I've never met a man like him who has really got into. Even though he gets angry, we quarrel and all of that, but um, he has gotten some patience and all with who I was and who I am now through him and god like everything has changed i'll surely buy him a car i would sponsor him you know i'll pamper him very well because god has been good 
if God didn't give me this man, I don't know where I would be by now. I always tell him that if I shouldn't have met, that was 2020, I'm sure by now I would have been very popular. I would have been a master slave queen. Yes, I'll be a slave <laughs> in my life. Like now I'm fulfilled where I know that Charlie, I don't need anything. I have God and like, yes, I have him and like, yes, and, you know, I would have been very bad i would have been very bad so happy birthday to us first yeah. me first here <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um, god bless him for me god bless yeah god bless him, him for me him for me so much god bless you god bless pastor betty and my jay god bless yeah everybody everybody Everybody. Everybody. We can't mention names. We can't mention names. A lot has changed. Well, I don't know. And she said that goosebumps she all over my body. On the birthday, she said that she had. She's feeling a feeling of something more like a an elevation, a transformation. Yes. But she yes. can't really tell what it is. I can't really tell but what. She got to tell what it is. Yeah. We got to tell you. You know, okay. it's like it's like a new chapter has opened where you feel like you are somewhere new. Everything. Like, Everything has changed. Every presence around you has changed. You've changed. Like everything has changed. Do you remember like, the, do you remember the prophecy Professor Ashman Asi gave you? You know, Kate re reminded me that when she reached me on Sunday. Yeah. That's okay. So Prophet Achuma Nasi yeah. gave her a prophecy some time ago that she's about to blow. Yeah. So she she will burst forth like she will yeah. burst forth. She will blow. Yeah. We are looking for I, I we are looking like for her to what that is. I feel like crying about Charlie. Let me hold on. <laughs> when I start, we are looking for her to that. We are looking for her to that. Kate reminded me when she called me to wish me on Sunday. We are looking for her to that. In which I'm very grateful. Yeah. All right, guys. So my last words, my last word is that um, I learned this a while ago that everything you go through, everything you are going through, is connected to your destiny. It's connected to your purpose. <laughs> yeah so whatever i go through i see it as a training ground how, how do you see yours i think if, if you don't go through them yeah you will never come out the no. way you come out at the end of the day no, no. so some people they go through it and they come out bad some people they go through it and they come out i bad. think i think um when you're going through it you should make sure that you meet someone that will help that you that would help you along the way like somebody who hold your hand yeah. and give you strength to work and through. and be willing to Learn and no God. All right, guys. Let, let's not get her crying. crying. Let's like, not get yeah. her crying. Okay. Yeah. Let's not get her crying. You see more of these videos. Thank you for yeah. watching. Thank you so much. We love you so much. If you like our channel, you love us as we love you. Tell ten people about our channel. <laughs> tell ten people. Get ten people to subscribe and let us grow together. Okay. Yeah. And then we won't disappoint you at all. Not at all. You are family now. We love you.